bus carrying students of Thambalnu Higher Secondary School, Yairi Poktop Chingka meets with tragic accident at Long Sai Part 3 in None District. At least 10 people killed. Chief Minister Nongthong Bambirain announces ex gratia of 5 lakh rupees for keen of those who died in Thambalnu Higher Secondary School bus accident. Directorate of Education S, Government of Manipur bans school excursions with immediate effect until January 10th next year. Chief Minister Nongthong Bambirain launches ATL 5G network for 40 areas in Imphal West and Imphal East districts. And Chief Minister N. Biren says Manipur government has expanded areas under organic cultivation from 5,000 hectare in 2016 to 37,900 hectare at present. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Tangjam bringing you the news in details. In a tragic incident, at least 10 people, including seven girl students, one female non-teaching staff, one male teacher and another female were killed after a bus in which they were traveling met with an accident in None district today. Two buses carrying students of Thambalnu Higher Secondary School, Yairipok Top Chintha, Imphal East, we are heading towards Kaupum on their annual study tour when one of the buses carrying girl students met with the fateful accident around 11 a.m. The tragedy which shocked the whole of Manipur occurred at Tubung village alongside part 3 under Kaupum police station along the old Kasar road also known as Tongjin Maril in Noni district. The bus reportedly flung around 30 meters down the steep road and crushed itself to the ground, killing the students, their teacher, and non-teaching staff and injuring several others. Boy students from the other bus passes by and villages rushed to help the victims. They were rushed to Bishnapur District Hospital for necessary treatment, after which they were taken to hospitals in Imphal in advanced life support ambulances. Imphal city echoed with sounds of ambulance sirens as the injured bodies we are being rushed to hospitals. The bodies have been kept at Janim's morgue. Ma'am, how did I na lay the bomb? Pamba si, ako nga si ayuk to kiba yam na lay bak kiba adu ba? Thado adu da ako y accident to kiba pamba do ni? Umma ako y makha da lay ba si na ako nga si accident to tu na ako y mu ako mahiro kya oza yam na lay kita ba adu ba bus adu ni makha da lay ibse tu ka hai ba bus asi ako si matak da lay ba si lambi ni lambi asi lagi ako y adai ba na ako Mama, I control the bank. I'm the only one. I see. I know you live here, but I know you live here. Pump the motor. You guys see. On that, I'm a matung. That. Who is that? I live here. Pump. My father is man. On that, I can't make that. How long? But who? I'm the nappy. Yeah. When you look at. Lain ini turun matung dah. Kau amak kasi dah tahu ni. Aduk anda ni ngasih kesum bawa live aktif atau dua tuai bawa. Kau itu bawa. Kau none distiki. Tubong ki, hai bawa kun ki, kau golai. Si dani, hai bawa kau lai bawa lambi si suo. Suka mati golai mat. Yang merang kai nai lai bawa. Bawa nak kau ini ngasih. Bawa hujik mampu masih lang na bawa. Bawa tanda kau gali tuong bawa su. Gali tau sing bawa su. Kau golai si. Suka mati yang bawa si nai merang mula ka. Kau gali tuong bawa su tau bawa sing bawa su. Yang nak kudung cah dapat. Kau amam mayuk naya dona ngasih. Kau 
si matak ta uriba koi ki gola aise si lagi ya si ki si ki lambi si lagi koi si ki shepta koi ga aise kumthar kadam ni adu bu diver du na asom na kan thau da bida si lagi straight ta thau da akan da ni si lagi si da u si da uriba u me am turi je si hai ba gadi du na si lagi si da thau da ra ma tung da si mai na on thar akan da ni adam ma kha da di ma yam na uriba se Ujik gadi sih ni mak ada mi lagi berana tak lagi terbaik betul. Yang nak kan dah tiba kita tahu kita dia koi hujan pahui na koi koi hujan dah koi asyik bah macam asok pasing buka lak pasi dah mi macam aku wat perai bagi sih dah betul lagi betul macam aku kan dah jenis bi sih jenah kan koi hujik gadi sih kapu kita tahu asyik yang aku koi gadi sih koi kalau tahu betul tahu kita sah tadi macam mana koi hai bah Tubuh bungi hai bahasa aku ini kun masin ni apa masih koi golai sih dah koi mamang dah su ngasih deh numit kah ni mamang dah eksiden thok pasing jauh kah maru ini hai bahasa kasih koi eksiden yang na tuai na thok pagi tu mba pau tu mama kun dah sih na fung dorak deh koi impact news na kun makata apa update sih ni anda sama jaga harus pau ini mata angsi lu sini. Thirty-three individuals who sustained injuries in Tambalnu Higher Secondary School bus accident were rushed to Bishnupur District Hospital for immediate medical attention. However, two of them succumbed to injuries at the district hospital. Deceased persons were a male teacher and a girl student. The rest of them were then rushed to different hospitals in Imphal. UDFS and Sports Minister Govindas Kontaujam and Education Minister Thaunaujam Basanta Kumar met with the victims at the hospital. Chief Minister Longton Bambirin announces ex gratia of 5 lakh rupees for the necks of keen of those who died in the school bus accident, 1 lakh rupees for injured persons and 50,000 rupees for those who sustained minor injuries in the bus accident that are cut along the old Kassar road in Noni district today. The Chief Minister announced the same while visiting the accident victims at Rims Hospital this afternoon. 14 students are undergoing treatment at the hospital. He also said, Education Department will soon issue a notification against organizing study tour in hilly areas during December and January as roads are not clear due to dense fog. The Chief Minister also appealed to drivers to drive carefully and to refrain from speeding. Nbirin also appreciated the villagers for extending their help in carrying out rescue operation. Works Minister Govindas Kontaujam held Minister Dr. S. Ranjan and Education Minister T. H. Basanta accompanied the Chief Minister during the visit. गाड़ी ड्राइवर सिंधा इन आपिल ताऊनिंग बसे गाड़ी थाऊ बगी स्पीड सी लिमिट सी करकरा अंडर सेंट और उगा थाऊ बियो है कल लम्जे इंताना बदे उन्हें भारा की न तो रगा करी की तो ताऊना बदे उन्हें ताऊ बखर गई अ कोई बस की वो रो ट्रक की वो रो अधेगी ऑक्टो वो इवन लाई रिबग गाड़ी थाऊ खाने रखा अंदर कोई सी मिनिस्टर की डिस्क्रिप्शन ही फंड गया कोई कोई लाइक हिदाबे सिंचित लपाला मांगा मांगा कोम्बे कोई मतलब पांगना बहुत नरके है ना आपको वारी प्लाउगे तो का यम खरा है ना स्वोक पकांग बु इशार सिंचित है ना पालाग आप मांगो मत पीबा तो का माइनर स्वोक पदना सिंग यंखे यंखे गुम्बा पीबा ह अंदर मशीन देखी तो मुझे देखी पहचान उसका तीन घंटे ना बाप कोई कोई सरकार ना बाप कोई मैं बियर टोमिनर सी है तो ना तो मैं ना वाले ब्लॉक बने तो ना वन सेकेंड आई ना अपील तो उन्हें बस ये मसाई की तो जनवरी भाव उसी होगी लेबर जगह में तम से खरा गाड़ी था वो खोटपा स्कूल एस्कर्सन सेट पर खोटपा � 
yengaga gari set pagi set nabi sima thambiu hai dina sima tongningi adu ga atai di ai lai khidraba isa singgi isa sing tu gi moi gi awa bata ekhoi ai gi mai kai digi duga sarkar gi mai digi ekhoi awa bata saru gi ajari Earlier in the day, Chief Minister Long Tom Bambirin condoled the demise of students in the bus accident that took place at the old Kassar Road. The Chief Minister tweeted deeply saddened to hear about the accident of a bus carrying school children. SDRF medical team and MLAs have been rushed to the site to coordinate the rescue operation, praying for the safety of everyone in the bus. In the wake of Tambalnu Higher Secondary School bus accident, Directorate of Education as Government of Manipur directs all principals or headmasters or headmistresses of all government, government-aided, private and aided schools in the state not to organize or conduct school excursions till January 10, 2023 with immediate effect to avoid any untoward incidents. Press note issued by Education as Director El Nanda Kumar directs old head of institutions to comply with the instruction failing which it is warned that responsibility of for any untoward incidents will lie with the principal or headmaster or headmistress concerned Twenty-five people are undergoing treatment at Raj Medicity, of which five are in critical condition. The critical patients have been admitted to the, in the ICU. The hospital geared up in advance to receive the accident victims at of their arrival. RDNPR Minister Y. Kim Chan, Imphal West District Police Officers and Officer of various other departments came and took stock of the situation. Longsai Village Chief Kab Kabidon Gonmai expresses deep sorrow over the demise of students and teachers in the fateful accident which occurred at Longsai Part 3 in Noni District. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, the village chief said similar accidents had occurred on earlier occasions at the same site. He said condition of the 5 to 6 kilometer stretch of the Lai Maton to Lai Matak down road which is a part of the Tongjin Maril road or the Orkasa road is very bad leading to brake failure of many vehicles plying along the road. Kabidon Gonmai said today's accident occurred due to the turning failure and brake failure as reported by the bus driver. The village chief said they had submitted repeated memorandum to chief minister to upgrade the road into a national highway however the chief minister, works minister and relevant authorities paid no heed till date. Among the honorable chief minister, the Tongzai Maril Lambi, I say, Song Duna, accident Tok Duna, Mikia C. Cray, I say, along with photo, so many application and the honorable chief minister submit of company. Lambi C. Lamatonigi, up to Lamata, Bridge Point Pausi, down company, heavy wet lavada, down company, break par 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 about a kilometer, Munga troops, black par par lavada, breaks a sagalaga, heck accident over. See him as who Kungi, Yumasi, Tata, Jake Pubuna, Hector Yums, and Ray of Toy, like he read. ตัวมีสิโซฮาวดเรตัวยุมตะปุ่งตัวตัวเรอะตัวมุตุงดาฮอซิกิสปอตกุตุกบักตัวดาบิลีตะเกอคุยมิตัยให้ตาเรตะบ
There are plans to roll out 5G service in the entire Imphal area by March 2023. Speaking on occasion, Chief Minister N. Biden expressed confidence that 5G service will deliver improved user experiences in various sectors including health, agriculture, education, transport, traffic management, smart cities, smart homes and multiple applications of internet. internet. He added that 5G service will revolutionize telemedicine. Telemedicine ki facility ema ekoi na singi area far flung area sin ekoi na hange doctor special specialist aare yobungam the bato adu dai the specialist to anywhere lahiri ba infal ki any jaga amada rimso ero jenimso ero private ero anywhere pamma ka na adu lahiri ba na bato ka direct unar ka adu lahiri ba doctor to the sheet to sheet to na advice to gya bato ki facility to five G si maru ina ekoi ki. District hospitals, Singhi, Sandhil Gumba, Chorshampur Gumba, Ukru Gumba, Senapati, Tamilong Gumba, and the Farjol Gumba. So, far from the areas, there was 5G internet, Silla Agadi, Akogi Delhi, Medicine Gi, Tauri Treatment Gi, Sigi, Pakachari, Havoxe, Hanamai, Pakani, Adana, Adamina, Kale, Adana, Tumat, and the High Vision Cobber, Tonoba, Airtel Gi, Kotang, the Hona Zagani. Chief Minister Nong Thomban Biren says state government has expanded areas under organic cultivation from 5,000 hectare in 2016 to 37,900 hectare during 2021-23. He was speaking at the inaugural of two-day national seminar come workshop on the topic Sustainable Agriculture and Organic Farming, Health Hazards of Agrochemicals Use in Food Production, held at the Court Hall of Manipur Central University today. Terming chemical fertilizers as major cause for health hazards to humans, Chief Minister Birain said efforts have been made to find replacements for chemical fertilizers. He said organic produce in 2016 was only 25,000 metric ton and it have been increased to 2,59,400 metric ton at present. He also assured that relevant departments along with universities are making efforts to boost crop production and boost farmers' income. He said, special focus has been given to groundwater to facilitate irrigation to agricultural land throughout the year. He maintained that 552 wells have been bought so far and most of them are providing water. <coughs> marketing he young lam MLA Dr. Y. Radesh Shyam assures to begin construction of three primary health subcenters and black topping of roads in Hyanglam constituency within this working session. He was speaking at the inaugural event of a market shade and a month up at length. Langmai Dong Maning Maka Lekai today. The MLA said that three health centers will be constructed at Lam Chau, Elang Kang Pokpi, and Sekmai Jin Kuno. He added that a new building of Langmai Dong PHC will also be constructed at the earliest. Primary health center, Center and upgrade or Matunga, Hari Mumponzi, Primary Health Center, William the Moksaka, the Penal, Hyder Budagi, Eko Ayama Pire, Sang Saba Horani, Taro Anila, La Kutani Pugi, Shin Sunday. Minister of Education and Law and Legislative Affairs, Tong Naujam Basanta Kumar, released a book titled The Battle of Imphal and Kohima, Japanese Operation in Northeast India at 
Peace Museum in Maibam, Lord Puching today. Speaking at the event jointly organized by Imphal Peace Museum, Maibam, Lord Puching and Manipur Tourism Forum. The age Basantu Kumar said through this book, the present and future generations will know the Japanese soldiers fought a fierce battle during World War II in Manipur. Director of Imphal Peace Museum, Haubam Joyremba also expressed hope that the book will strengthen ties between Manipur, India and Japan. Yu Nakamura of Sasakwa Peace Foundation, Professor of National Academy, Japan, Tomatsu Haro and President of Manipur Tourism Forum, P. Kunjubihari, were among those present on the occasion. And this book, once it comes out, it's going to give a new dimension into the uh, sequences of events that took place in uh, Imphal and Kohima and to a greater extent uh, the independence of India, end of the Second World War. I believe that this book, once it's gone through, the younger generations, the youths, the boys and girls, once they read this, they will propagate the, uh, the message of uh, peace and reconciliation with a very basic agenda that there are no victors in war and peace should prevail. Education Minister Thaunaujo Basantu Kumar underlines on overall personality development of youth as they are the pillars of society. He was speaking at the opening event of two-day international conference on innovative practices in business, education and environment for sustainable development in post-COVID-19 pandemic today. Biramangal College and NG Money College jointly organized the event at the Multipurpose Hall of Biramangal College in Sawungbung, Imphal East. Minister Basanta Kumar emphasized on the need to provide soft skills training to youngsters alongside academic discussion and writing skills. He encouraged to learn various languages as language barrier will hinder unity and integrity in a state like Manipur, which is inhabited by various communities. Equine Laga papers in a topic to the lecture in the Nantava. But deliver the lecture, make it a bit shorter, give some time, 10, 15 minutes to the audience, to the teachers, to the staff, to the students to interact, ask questions. So that will give the students confidence, knowledge, and after all, what are we trying to do here today? We are trying to improve the college so that we can improve the lives and the education level of our students. The students should be at the core, at the, at the, should be the focus of whatever we are trying to do today. Health Minister Dr. Sapam Ranjan today inaugurated a 200 metric ton multi purpose cold storage at Kangmong. Langoljam Awangleka in Kontaujam constituency. The minister also inaugurated a seed processing unit, state mechanized farm in Lamphil Pad, and handed over to the public. Speaking at inaugural program held at Kangmong Langoljam Awangleka, Minister Dr. Ranjan said the coal storage was constructed with an objective to store agricultural products for a longer period of time. He maintained that the coal storage was built considering the plights of farmers dead went through after failing to find buyers of their farm produce, selling agricultural products at cheap price and over the fact that many products got wasted during COVID-19 pandemic. Emily Sapamp, Nishikant, Emily SKB, Horticulture Department officials and locals attended the event. Nasi Prasada Sidare, you have the technical level of drying room, my work in Ohan, processing, pre processing, room, Gatamba, Adi, Manungu, the chamber, Marini. Tomato, you can take the example of the big river. Young Saxi, Manipur, the Akwigi, Yam the Pamzagaba, Portina, Sanding Bakan, the Zoeta Pandi, Adore, the Young Saku, Tomu Bakan, Mayam, the Pandam, Matam, the people can do business, can do Zoom Kane, look at Prasada, so I'm going to Sanding Bakotu. Any time of the pandemic, we see cold storage. 
Broiler farmers in Manipur are currently in a state of losing their business as they are not even getting principal amount they had spent in the business, keeping aside the idea of earning interest as a result of relevant authorities failing to fix the price of broiler, which is a favorite chicken breed for consumption among the people in Manipur. Many entrepreneurs in the state who took up broiler farming will sooner or later give up broiler farming in if no action is taken regarding the issue. Speaking exclusively to Impact News, one of the broiler farmers, Warepam Sankar, says around 3 lakh is required to rear 1,000 broiler chicken. He continued that local broiler farmers are having a tough time in selling their broilers, which are 45 days old, as the markets in the state are cramped with imported broilers, which are easily sold to buyers at a lower price. ตาหน้าดูมายเนี่ยสักกันเนี่ยบ่ดูลิสต์ตะราก <laughs> Speaking to Impact News, Sankar said that poultry farmers are most affected owing to the prevailing scenario and all their hard work and efforts are likely to go wasted. He said farmers have to depend on imported poultry as poultry feeds are not sufficiently produced in Manipur. He added that they are also bearing the salaries of farm workers after spending so much money, they do not receive enough profit, not even the principal amount. Sankar urged the relevant authorities towards the issue and to set up a joint body of poultry farmers or else poultry farming will take a back seat in the state. ควยนะพุทธชริบิเยนเซอควยกระทรวงสิ่งศึกษาจะระกะเดควยกิเดอะดุมยายบะดุมอปาลัมเดกิออเวอร์โหลดตะปุชะละควยสิเนเบเบรา
Welcome back after the break and watching Prime Time English News. India added 13 new COVID-19 cases and three dead cases in last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active case load declined to 3,408. Dead toll reaches 5,30,680. Over 220 crore, 1,45,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Manipur did not report any new positive cases of COVID-19 nor any deaths in last 24 hours. Death toll remains at 2,149. Cumulative positive cases in the state are 1,39,922. Active cases are zero at present. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 65 crore 91 lakh 46 thousand people it has claimed above 66 lakh 76 thousand people and recoveries are above 63 crore 24 lakh 40 thousand usa has the highest active cases of above 17 lakh 75 thousand in the world Imphal West District Police Commando team arrested two suspected active members of prescribed RPF or PLA from different locations of Imphal East District yesterday. Arrested person are identified as 50-year-old Laurimba Bhumeshwar, son of late El Ning Thim Jao from Kurai Thangjam Lake and 46-year-old Kangambam Sanatomba, son of late K. Ibocha from Kongpal Laishram Lake currently residing at Kongpal Chingangbam Lake According to Impact News Sources, Imphal West District Commando team acted on a tip of and arrested Bhumeshwar from his residence at around 1.10 p.m. while Sanatomba was arrested from his residence at Kurai Ahongai Ayangpali Road at around 1.50 p.m. yesterday. Police report says the arrested persons have confessed that they have worked for prescribed RPF PLA under one Robert Sant of the same outfit. They have been handed over to Porompat Police Station for further legal actions. Pongring Jang United Organization Manipur celebrated its Golden Jubilee at Langol Tarung Community Ground in Thangmaiban constituency today. Addressing at the event, Wang Kai MLA Thangjam Arun Kumar appreciated Kabui community for keeping their age old religious ritual and customs intact. He called upon other communities to follow suit. MLA Arun Kumar also lauded Pongring Jang United Organization Manipur for its initiatives in bringing together people of Kabui community reciting in various parts of Manipur, Nagal and Elsa. Pongling Janga, Muru took down Lorakan, the Indian Yang Jerapada, Tauli, Tabuk Tolum Singasi, Muruina, Kui Pai Pun Tabirimba, Culture Hinganaba, Adugaya Muruina, Education, the Focus Torakanda, Hogal Live and Harul Singh, Karma Makalgi, Education Piraga, Karma Makalgi Makoi, the Guidance Piraga, Support Piraga, Tungi, Papa Yumbri, Kataki Havi Pandam, the Pulling Lab, and Horazava to organize Namani, the Sumo Organization, see Kabi Kataginatawa, Manipuda Lady Bajati Kudimaki, to come organization, see Hojimatamda, Yam Dargaro, to come organize Namani. Speaking on occasion, organizing committee convener Gaidon Rong may recall that Pongring Jang United Organization Manipur incepted in Pongring Jang village and it has been striving to unite Kabui people in Manipur, Nagaland and Assam through age old traditions. He said the organization will also focus on education sector. Hills Area Committee Chairman and Nungba MLA Dinganglung alias Deepu Gangmai, Deputy Legislative Council, Legislative Department of Law and Justice, Government of India, Gaining Lung Panmai, former Assistant Solicitor of India for Kohima Bench, Guwahati High Court, Kamai Alan Rongmai, Jubilee Committee Chairman, Langangdem Pamai, PUO Manipur President, Daiganglung Gangmai, and Kabui people from various parts of Manipur attended the program. I 
Aikoi society sekram mana gozan zubi tau bunu hai bu matam sida. Aikoi han singna thamramba arin kancer Manipur kakta natana nodista fokus tau raga kacin kia se sinthung na education dosu mana fokus ketang tau ramba. Aye supsya kya putho pengam gader ge hai bagi pandam na hanak di fifty years gozan zubi diki education da mana mana fokus sata rani adoga second da arin kancer da sata gani adoga aikoi ki theme se unity buying us hai bani Manipur sarkar sna dik sing tam da mieng amat thamraga Kau terang sida zati bizati kai dana ikut dingje mana kita punya hai depan dalam susu support atau buaya na unity buying us hansing the same nama pos ikut si satu raga live ni. One day training come interaction program on scientific methods of beekeeping for unemployed rural youths was held today at Laimaram Bishnupur District AICRP on Honeybee and Pollinators College of Agriculture for of Central Agricultural University CAU Imphal. Organized the program. Head of Department of Entomology, College of Agriculture, CAU Imphal, Dr. K. H. Ibohal, Principal Investigator of AICRP on Honeybees and Pollinators, College of Agriculture, Dr. Shraban M. Haldar, and B. Professional Arambam Suchitra attended the program at Resource Persons and spoke on scientific methods on beekeeping. Around 50 individuals took part in the event. Beekeeping boxes were also distributed to trainees during the program. Mahot Minister Yumnam came to and says most of the clubs in Imphal area have failed to carry out sports activities and as a result there is lack of sports persons in the areas covered by these local clubs. The minister while was speaking while attending the inauguration program of building come shopping complex for social workers club SWC Herangoi Thong today. Speaking in the program that was held at multipurpose hall of SWC, Minister Kim Chan further said that sportspersons hailing from other places are representing the club since the club failed to produce quality sportspersons. Therefore, there is a need for clubs to in, in Imphal area to promote its local players. Minister also assured all possible help in this regard. Tribal Affairs and Health Minister Laid Pao Haukip today laid the foundation stone for construction of four Manipur police outposts near the Indo Myanmar border. The foundation stone laying ceremony was held at Holland Five Village Playground. The four police outposts will be opened at Holland Five Village, Sunrise Ground, Muslim Basti, and Kwatha Kunau. ADGP, AP Government of Manipur, Clay Kongsai, IPS, IGAP, to Government of Manipur, Achin Haukip, IPA, Superintendent of Technopol District Police, Golian Mang, IPS, and additional SP Technopol District Police, Y Premjit graced the occasion. Financial assistance were also handed over to the selected elderly people who attended the program. Tribal Affairs and Health Minister Laid Pao Haukip today kicked off a campaign to clean Kojailok River, which is an important river that's providing drinking water to the residents of Moritang. The cleanliness campaign is being organized by Kojailok and Lilok Environment Protection Committee, KLEPCO. Representatives of Maitai Council Moray, Hill Tribal Council Moray, All Community De Development Organization Moray, Manipur Muslim Council Moray, Fifth Assam Rifles, and Village Chiefs of Cookies Chief Association attended the program that was held at Lizon Turf Complex. Minister also distributed All Age Pension Card and Chief Minister Widow Scheme Card to 76 beneficiaries during a program organized by District Social Welfare Officer Technopol as a part of Go to Village 2.0. Later, Minister Late Bahaki also visited Saimol Village in Mori and provided monitor assistance to families of two houses that were destroyed by fire on November 3rd. Lam lam sida cili ba kujai roka lai loka turin numit kunni sing dok pagi program e au dok sabani ising hai ba sidi zat bi zat lai ba nate adu na ising hai ba turin hai ba si kalaga di miu ba gi punsi sukan bani hai ba gi wakalon da e mai ben sing na sin bi rakta na mai am chang da na lai ka e som gi lam dama som gi mai am na si tolok pa si e su angam ba thakta e support tau gani 
Ahead of Christmas, kiwi fruits and tamang long oranges are made available at the organic outlet in San Jentong Imphal for people to purchase. The initiative was taken as a measure to benefit the farmers under Manipur Organic Mission Agency, MoMA. In connection with these, MoMA Project Director K. Devadatta Sharma says MoMA has put in efforts to provide people with organic orange and kiwi fruit grown in Tamang Long to ensure good health among the masses. He added that MoMA has no share of interest from the fruits sold today. Devadatta gave assurance that MoMA will always strive towards making Manipur a self sustained state on foot through sufficiently cultivating cropped in hill areas of Manipur. Yolivasi, Equina Sendong Yaudana, Farmer de Lopa Mamalga, Bara Duga Hapsalaga, Maduda Tava Paisaduda, Mamal Hong the Yonjabani, Farmer Mayambu Nuxibi, Nuxibio, A Pub of Tinjak Sasi, Fresh Soiba, Equi Organic Product Natraga, Naturally Product, Chemical Free Products in Chisaraga, Lamdam Sigi, Miuva, Aquigi, Isati, Lairiva, Silino, Kuding Muxe, Isaino, Loina Muxi, Masamo, Fana, Tung Puena. Sang Pana, but he looks in Tokna, a Pava Lamomo, same with the Matin with Hensi Hibusi, Manipur Organic Mission is in Sigi, my pay the Gimayanda, Aina Tamzari. Members of Imphal Mori Highway Welfare Committee today handed over edible items to churches situated along the Imphal Mori Road as Christmas and New Year's gift. Committee extended items in memory of former advisor of the committee, Laid Holkai. Committee President El Subar said, they have been carrying out similar gestures since 2007 to foster love and brotherhood between hills and valley inhabitants of Manipur. Manipur Dalit School Committee of nine members has been formed under All Manipur Dalit Development Association for the construction of Manipur Dalit School at Lamphil Pant in Imphal West. All Manipur Dalit Development Association President T.M. Rajan Ayangba is the committee's president, Seram Ramchandra is vice president, M. Manikanta is general secretary, and Thiam Bhavananda is the joint secretary. Pakhang Kong Youth Development Association PYDA Taubal today carried out a one day free health camp on the aesthetic realm of for skin, hair, laser, and aesthetic medicine at the club meeting hall. Founder and Director of Aesthetic Medicine Clinic, the Aesthetic William Lumphill Supermarket, Dr. Florence Haubam gave treatment to patients during the camp. Free medicines were also distributed to patients. Taliban authorities have ordered a nationwide ban on university education for females in Afghanistan. The hotline Islamists continue to crush Afghan women's right to education and freedom despite promising a softer rule when they seized power last year. A spokesman for Afghan Education Ministry said the decision was taken at a cabinet meeting and the order will go into effect immediately. The ban on higher education comes less than three months after thousands of girls and women set university and and trans exams across the country with many aspiring to choose teaching and medicines as future careers. The announcement by the Taliban administration came as the United Nations Security Council met in New York on Afghanistan. U.S. and British envoys to the United Nations in New York condemned the move. U.N. spokesman Stephen Dujaric said the move is clearly another broken promise from the Taliban. And in sports news, Model Club Chingamaka defeated YCC Wankai by 19 runs in the 11th league match of the ongoing 19 Manipur Veteran Cricket Tournament today. An 11th league match held under the aegis of Manipur Veteran Cricket Association at located playground in Lamsang constituency today, Model Club Chingamaka made 162 runs in 30 overs with 8 wickets down, while YCC Wankai secured 143 runs in 30 overs with 9 wickets down. 11 veteran cricket teams divided into two groups are competing in the league matches of the tournament. Napsaka Imphal will meet Cyclone Tamayban in the 12th league match tomorrow. Manipur Arms Sport Team backs overall team champion of the 6th National Arms Sport Championship 2022 held at 
Talka Tora Stadium in New Delhi. 16 players from Manipur competed in the championship held from December 13 to 15. Manipur Arms Sport Team backed 26 goals, 13 silvers and 1 bronze medal in various weight categories. Aditya Waitokpam bagged junior champions of the champions title. Senior men champions of the champions went to Biswajit Lahon. Master men champions of the champions went to K. Depolind and P. Naucha bagged senior women champion of the champions title. Second Pukram Mondon Singh Memorial Championship opened men and women six aside day and night organized by Apun Banharol Yai Pathausil Kanglub ANYT K Thangmaipan begins today at ANTYK Club ground in Thangmaipan Imphal. BJP Manipur Pradesh Vice President and Nimbus kick started a championship which aims to promote football players in the state. Altogether, 48 teams are competing in the championship. Manipur Chief Minister said, "Nong Thong Nong Thong Mahaki War on Drugs." I don't know. Koi ki sanctioni ba koi ki thabuk se. Koi ki program se. Masina masida ki koi sub masibu support ta ba. Amasung koi ki saatra naharon sing se. Masamu pa ba aduga loyna na ma koi ki hijari ba ma koi da ma koi da yaur ba talent sing se. Masi utok pun ngamna na ki koi ki pandam do desi ko program si si ko ma tonam si pang utok pun eh. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Bus carrying students of Thambal New Higher Secondary School, Yadi Poktop Chingtha, meets with tragic accident at Longsai Part 3 in Noni District. At least 10 people killed. Chief Minister Nongthomban Birin announces ex gratia of 5 lakh rupees for keen of those who died in Thambal New Higher Secondary School bus accident. Directorate of Education as Government of Manipur bans school excursion with immediate effect until January 10th next year. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin launches Airtel 5G network for 40 areas in Imphal West and Imphal East districts. And Chief Minister N. Birin says Manipur government has expanded areas under organic cultivation from 5,000 hectare in 2016 to 37,900 hectare at present. And that's all we have in this edition of the English Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Till then, good night and stay safe. Sri Sri Gaurachandrayana Maha, Purwashram Daikwai Pumna Makpukon Biramba, Laurembam Manglem 